quickly before this video starts, I'm doing you a Q&A soon, so if you want to shout out, leave a question down below. This goes without saying, thank you for the video suggestion. No, I didn't know this video exists, but I'm happy this video exists because it was actually rather entertaining. But, you know, we still have to expose it, so let's expose this video. A 5 second intro is equal to a 5 second end. So it's gonna pick it up the video super abrupt right now. We Stop saying super abrupt. It's abruptly, not abrupt. Also, these aren't people. They're zombies. Yeah, sure, you didn't know that at the time, but these previous videos show that zombies are stupid. But they're not stupid enough to disregard any other potential victim and go straight to your house. How do they know where you live? News or why are they I'm here? Uh, why are they oh, only here? And it seems like they're only in front of our house. Yes, why only your house? Why is all this stuff always happening in your house? Why can't you just start a video somewhere else? Because of all these videos, I literally know the blueprints of your house from seeing it too much. Fucking dead. Oh my god. So many squad. Look how many of them are. It's like a zombie apocalypse outside. A zombie apocalypse. Yet yeah, no news media cover this. Interesting. Yo, shh. Guys, be quiet. We don't want to attract their attention. But wouldn't it be better to just turn the lights off and close the windows? Or do you need the lights on for the camera? Also, four people all out the window is bound to draw attention. See, look at it. It's literally like The Walking Dead, guys. There's it's not like The Walking Dead. Where's Rick with his .44 Magnum? Where's Negan with Lucille? Where's Carl with his one eye? Where's Daryl with his crossbow? But you know, you can make it like The Walking Dead by bringing out your 9000s. Or is that not family friendly enough? Okay, look, I'm grateful that Shawnee isn't shoving more clown dick in my face. But the damage is done. You see zombies, but I see clowns. <laughs> How do we do? How do we divert their attention another way? Look at ways to stop whispering so loudly. It was only a minute ago when you told everyone to stay quiet, but look at where we are now. You can't expect your henchmen to keep their mouths shut while you keep the conversation going. That's not how it works. Also, a good way to divert their attention would be to remote start your car, but I'm guessing your car does do that. No idea. What are we supposed to do? Guys, oh, we can throw something. I thought zombies were only in the movies. How is this even real? Right you watch a soldier get attacked by a zombie at Eagle Mountain. Yeah, you're only asking this now? Oh, oh my god. Oh, what the heck? Get, get away! Bro, we need to escape right now. We need to get the hell out of here. This Why? You're safe up on the roof. These zombies just displayed how limited they are on the ground. Wouldn't getting off the roof and on the ground level be more dangerous considering the zombies have the same advantages as you? Oh my god. No. Quick, 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 quick. Everyone get in. Everyone get in. Yeah, go, where where do we, where do we, where do we, we need to escape through the back. Let me get this straight. Johnny and his henchmen randomly stumbled upon zombies out Outside their house with a drone. Why did they have a drone out in the first place? What were they filming? Also, there was a certain point in time when Shami's henchmen came to his house, which means they did not see the zombies. So while all of them were inside the house, the zombies just randomly organized themselves to find themselves outside his house? I'm going bullshit on that. And it doesn't help how, in, like in most of his other videos, they are on the roof with the camera. They're always on the roof, and the event which zombies just gather outside makes no sense when they discover this before going on the roof. And five of us, okay? So I think we can outnumber them. Just be quiet. If you stay quiet, zombies are attracted to noise. If you are Shami, before, I'm sure that you're well aware that someone will screw this up. I have nothing against Yana, but Yana's always the loudest one, and for some reason, I feel like she'll be the reason they're discovered. Okay, everyone come out, come out, wait. Okay, I don't think they notice us. Well, I was wrong. But still, they screwed up. Also, this isn't a real zombie apocalypse. These guys have technology. They can call someone for help, but this is a Shromney video, so he needs to prolong this to make the video at least 10 minutes long. Also, also, these two zombies were literally in front of the house a minute ago. Why are they back here now? No choice, we have to sprint out through the front. Okay. What? Why? Earlier in the video, we saw that there were multiple zombies outside the front door. And in the back, there are only two. Any insult to injury, Shromney literally said they outnumbered the two zombies in the back, so none of this adds up. We saw that you screwed up with the two zombies in the back, so why take your chances with five plus zombies? in the front? Oh, 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 oh. They're all outside. I think they lost interest. They lost interest, but they are still in the front. Why not just wait until the two in the back lose interest so you could try stinging out again? Yeah, 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 yeah. They won't have the time in the world to close this door. Also, they're not putting any effort into closing this door because their actor's hands are stuck in the door. And we all know Shomni cannot hurt his actors for the sake of the video. Also, so what is Shomni doing? He's not even applying any pressure against the door to close it. <laughs> Really? Did he really think the camera would be able to look under the door? It's a miracle how none of the zombies saw that door open right to the left of them. Yeah, zombies are stupid, but there's no way zombies that are hungry for flesh would just disregard this. Also, can zombies sense human flesh? They should have been able to realize Shomni is just two feet away from them. But this is a Shomni video, and according to Shomni's logic, the cameraman is never seen. He literally looked at the camera, and I know this part was unintended because the camera cuts to a different scene immediately after this. Whoever edited this video either didn't care or noticed that one of the actors accidentally looked at the camera, but I noticed. Literally an army of them strongly squad. Here's a video of four dolls locked inside a bathroom together. I think we should wait in here? Okay, we just need to stay quiet. Maybe we'll leave eventually. Yo, I have security cam footage too. We can see what's happening. Yo, check. Of course, Shomni has security cams in the house. Why would he not? Also, how does Shomni maintain them if they record 24-7? I mean, the video has to be stored somewhere. And there's no way the footage is always feeding directly to his phone. I mean, by now, his phone would be a hot pocket from the app's constant use on the battery and the memory. Who puts the security camera there? And what's behind that curtain? Is one of the side doors that grants 
entry to the house there? I mean, if there is, then why is there a curtain there? And if not, why is the security camera pointed there? It's like Stromny intentionally left it there because he knew the zombies would be commuting back and forth across the doorway. Also, these zombies are not going anywhere. They're pacing back and forth across the doorway to give the viewer a realization that there are a lot of them, but I only counted nine zombies in the video. So what impression of numbers was Stromny trying to make? Banging on the doors, banging. I can see him banging on the doors. See him, see him? Oh, no, God. Okay, he's switching back. No! Okay, so while Keanu's flesh is being ripped apart, Shami and Sashmin will just sit there and do nothing about it? And are you seriously going to tell me Keanu died and we won't see him again? I doubt it. Also, why is the security camera pointing here? What security measures was Stromney trying to take? No, they're all scattering everywhere. Okay, okay. Some of them are going upstairs and stuff. Oh, no, look at Keanu. So these zombies aren't hungry for flesh. They just bite you and walk away. So wouldn't they be considered smart since they know they only need to infect someone rather than eating them? Look, he's getting up, he's getting up, he's getting up. Okay, so I get that Keanu was bitten, but where are the bite marks? Did Shami leave all this out so the video could be monetized to children that think this video is real? This is like presenting the Disney executive with the zombie movie. This is a family-friendly zombie movie. It teaches the importance of life after a zombie infects you. But don't worry, you will still gain much currency because there's no blood in this movie, despite someone getting attacked by zombies. And Keanu didn't know Shami? Oh, of course, in the Shami universe, the camera makes you invisible. Oh, pass, there's too many of them right now. Keanu? Keanu? Keanu's a zombie. How's he going to allow you to record him while you're literally presenting him with pounds of living human flesh? Okay, this was fucking amazing. Everything seemed so out of place in the presence of zombies. People getting attacked, people panicking. This was just absolutely perfect. I never did this before, but to prove to you how much I enjoyed this scene, here are 10 Oscars for this masterpiece. And of course, we won't be adding any fish fake plex to this video despite it being fake. This was perfect. <laughs> So literally 15 seconds ago, everyone was screaming and drawing attention. How didn't any of the other zombies get drawn to this? Earlier in the video, they found you because you were in the window, but in this scene, you're screaming and wrestling zombies off and no other zombies bats an eye? That is not how The Walking Dead went down. Shami has taught us that zombies are attracted to sound. Shami and henchmen are downstairs screaming, but somehow almost all the zombies go to the most quiet room in the house. The zombies have no reason to be in this room, yet they are in this room because they will play a specific role in whatever that's coming up. Trust me, I know. After watching many Shami videos, you learn to realize little things like this are predictable. <laughs> Oh, yep, and they were in this room so they could be chased one more time. Okay, that is bullshit. Earlier in the video, we saw that a zombie fell, and a zombie was nowhere near you. But for some reason, your instinct was to fall down and not get up when the other zombies were coming towards you. It was only when Shami dragged you because you were not getting up. And before he dragged you, you had a few seconds to react before the zombies got to you. So there is no way you were close to getting bit as you had plenty of time to react. Why is Yana collapsing? If she is infected, it's a way too long for the virus to take its effect. Look how fast Keanu turned, yet Yana had so much time for all these activities before feeling sick. That's cliche, but it's also sexist. Yana, you okay? Yana, Yana, Yana here, take the camera, take the camera. Yana, Yana. So we know Yana is Shami's girlfriend, so anyone who closely follows these characters would cry during this scene. But I don't understand how Yana is infected. She wasn't bitten, and nowhere in this video was there time she might have swallowed zombie saliva. And no blood, because there is no blood in this video. Not answering. What, what the hell? What the hell? Yana, what the hell? Yo, yo, she's what like, the hell? Something's wrong with her, dude. The Yo, same God, thing's what? happening to her. The same thing's happening to her as, as Kiani. Yes, except Kiani who suffered from the effects immediately. It's about the turn, dude. We need to cuff her to something so she can't hurt anybody. I think I have, like, handcuffs that I can use to cuff her. Get her, get her, get her. I got them right here, I got them, I got them. This is no time to get kinky, Shami. Also, why does Shami have handcuffs anyway? Isn't it a little obvious what Shami and Yana might be doing off camera? My point is, if a couple has handcuffs, they definitely do some freaky shit when no one is looking. She's getting pale in the face and everything. How would you know? Do you know how much makeup she is wearing? How can you tell she's getting pale? Yana, what's wrong with you? Oh, holy crap! Oh my god! Yo, oh, oh my god! Yo, Yana, holy crap! Yo, we cuffed her! We cuffed her! Oh my, oh my god! god. <laughs> wow, well, that is the cleanest zombie I've ever seen. Also, why did Kinu react differently when he became zombie. Is it because he's a minor character compared to Yana? That's messed up. Yeah, this is a good thing we cuffed her. It sucked that I lost my girlfriend and she turned into a zombie right in front of me, but at least we cuffed her. He's not even hitting the zombies. You could have gotten a styrofoam bat to make it look real. This is easily the goofiest thing I've seen, so let's go ahead and remove nine Oscars. <laughs> Okay, let's not do this again. <laughs>
<laughs> but seriously, this was hilarious. <laughs> What's even more messed up is that no one helped him. Shami was literally standing there recording him. Oh, this scene was so funny to me. He's literally took over, guys. We don't know what the hell to do. Keanu, Yana, and Mark all turned. It's literally just me and Diego. So how did Keanu, Yana, and Mark come back at the end anyway? We know they're in your recent video. So how did they get cured and become normal people again? Anyway, that is pretty much it for me today. Thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you enjoy your stay. If you're a hater, leave a dislike below so now you watch the video. And if you're a subscriber, stay beautiful, my friend. I'll see you guys in the next video, and I am out. Goodbye.